Welcome to another free Microsoft Access tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about many-to-many -many relationships. I have a very simple database set up here with two tables in it. I've got a driver table with a list of drivers, driver ID, first name, last name, and a vehicle table. It's got the vehicle ID and a description. Now, if I wanted to set up a system where a driver could have many vehicles, I would simply have a one-to-many relationship, and that's pretty easy to set up. In that case, all I have to do is add a driver ID down here in the vehicle table, and that sets up a simple one-to-many relationship, right? Design view. I'll add a driver ID right here as a foreign key, so that's a number of type long integer. And I've got several other tutorials that teach you how to do this. This is pretty straightforward. I'll save that and then reopen it again. Now I've got the vehicle table and the driver table and I can specify a driver for each one of these cars. Let's say Rick Ross, driver 1, has both of these. Driver 2 has that one. Driver 3 has that one. And driver 4, Bill Williams, doesn't have any. It's a simple one-to-many relationship. Now the problem with a one-to-many relationship is that the Chevy Camaro here can only be driven by one driver. I have no way to say, hey, this vehicle may be driven by multiple drivers. Let's say this isn't a question of ownership. It's not who owns what vehicle. Let's say you have a fleet of vehicles for your company, and you have to be able to track which drivers are in which vehicles from time to time. So we need a better system than just a one-to-many relationship to track that. We need a many-to-many -many relationship. Many drivers and many vehicles. Each driver can drive multiple vehicles, and each vehicle may have multiple drivers. How do we set that up? To set up a many-to-many -many relationship, we need a third table, sometimes called a junction table or a cross-reference table. And that allows you to say, this vehicle to this driver, this vehicle to this driver, and so on. Now you're not limited to having a vehicle belong to one and only one driver. How do we set this up in Access? Well, let's get rid of that driver ID that we added in here. We don't need it. Delete. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Goodbye. All right, save the table again. Now, let's create a new table to act as a junction table. Create, table design. You can put an ID in here if you want as an auto number. We're not really going to use it. You want a driver ID. That's going to be a number because it's a foreign key pointing to the driver table. Then a vehicle ID that's also a foreign key. Save this. I'll call this my junction T or junction table. Primary key defined, sure. Now, let's open up all three tables so we can see what it looks like. Okay, there's all three tables. I've got my driver table, my vehicle table, and my junction table. Now I can come in here and say, driver 1 drives vehicle 1. Driver 1 drives vehicle 2. Driver 2 sometimes drives vehicle 1. And driver 2 also may drive vehicle 4, let's say. All right, driver three may drive vehicle one, vehicle one's popular, and so on. You can see how we can specify relationships between any combination of these objects. Now, of course, this is just one example. You can use many-to-many -many relationships for all kinds of things. For example, in my database, I've got customers and categories. What category does each customer belong to? Business classifications, for example. What type of business is it? And each one of those categories or classifications can belong to multiple customers and vice versa. In my Access Relationship Seminar, I go over a couple of different examples using different types of relationships, one-to-many, one-to-one, and of course many-to-many. -many. And one of the examples that I use with a many-to-many -many relationship is products and vendors. You may have multiple products that you carry, and each of those products can belong to multiple vendors. You may get the same keyboard from three different vendors, for example, and you want to be able to check which one is the cheapest. Okay, Each product 
can belong to multiple vendors, and each vendor, of course, will have multiple products. That's a many-to-many -many relationship. And I'll show you how to set that up in my Access Relationship Seminar. So that's how you set up a many-to-many -many relationship in an Access database. I hope you learned something. And again, for a lot more information on many-to-many -many and other types of relationships, go to my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for the Access Relationship Seminar. I'll put a link below the video. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Thanks for watching.